that doesn't give it back to me they're gonna know I broke it <sighs> oh lovely Oh, yep, I'm screwed. Okay. Oh, darn it. Oh. It was worth a shot. Oh, now they're gonna know I broke it. I knew I shouldn't have touched it. We can just pretend that it was like this the whole time. here uh, at least Kaya's safe for now this is terrible I don't have anything I should have at least asked for some books or something Good thing I had food on me, otherwise they wouldn't have even fed me, I doubt. Anyway. Well, unless this keeps me from starving. Is it a thunderstorm? Can't get back in. Could really scare somebody. They could think that I've escaped. But then I could actually escape. bounce on the bed. <sighs> I'm so bored. Cola was crazy. This would drive any person insane. Although I don't think it took him long to escape the prison. And unfortunately, they've learned all their lessons.
I hate someone. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry I didn't come to see you sooner. Am I not giving you another change of clothes? Uh, no. I didn't bring a gown, but I did bring you food if you want it. Um, I had some food that Lucario let me get before I was taken. Cherry pie? Um, sure. This is not the greatest peace offering, but peace offering. <laughs> what do you need a peace offering with me for? For letting them take you. I'm sorry. I... I weighed the options in with it just being time served and animal going out on a limb to hide the nether's involvement in general. I didn't think it was in the king's best interest to keep you from being arrested during it. So you asked me that night if I knew I did know about the arrest in advance. Oh. And I'm sorry. I... I promise that if it was something that would have brought you harm, I would have vetoed anything and stepped forward. Because... I do care for you, and I know Morgan cares for you, and I just, I'm sorry, and I, I understand if you're mad about me, mad at me about it, I just wanted to at least tell you my perspective of things on the situation. How could I be mad at you? I've done this to myself. But you did it for our kingdom. I trusted and I someone. I didn't protect you. On the outside, and I shouldn't have done that. As a spy master, I should have known better. I will say that is a separate issue in general. I. I don't think it's separate at all. I think it is. I don't think she should have ever been involved in work you were doing. Like, if it had been work for the Elven Kingdom, sure, but she shouldn't have been caught up in nether work. I just, I just really wanted to come see you and say I'm sorry, and just note the kids definitely want to see you too. Um, I don't know if I want them very... to see me like this. That's okay, I can definitely keep them away. They were, I told them about it in a form of time out. And they were very distraught about how long timeout can be. 
Yeah. I'm sure. Um, do you have totems or anything on you? No, I have nothing. Just in case. Why? Are you worried Why someone's gonna I? come here and kill me? I sure hope no one can break into here and kill you. However, I did just break in. If anyone has my telepaths, I'm sure that they could get in. Um, speaking of telepasses, I went through yours and Kaya's belongings, and I took out any telepasses I saw, especially Netherian telepasses, so people wouldn't be able to take and abuse them. I also have your gear and all your ruby items in my ender chest um, to give you back when you're out. Okay. Just so you know where your items are. Um, do you want me to take your mermaid necklace and put it with your ruby stuff as well, or should I leave it entrusted to the elven vault? I don't know. Maybe it's best for you to have it. Technically, that one's an illegal one, so probably not best to keep it around. Ah. Okay. That's a separate... Okay. Um, Annabelle already knows an about that one. Yeah, I will definitely put that in an ender chest. Because I... I think it rightfully so. So I don't really trust the vault security currently. Um, I guess you should know Kaya is still on the run. Um, and Kaya left a sign in the vault and took most of her stuff back. So. Oh. I don't exactly trust the fact that people won't just get in there. Um, You'd have to break the, not like the warp fact. stone. Mm -hmm. Inside. Yeah, I'll grab the necklace, and then if I see anything else that's <coughs> valuable in your belongings, I will stick it into my ender chest as well to keep it away from people. And then you can ask for it back. What about my journal? Um, I don't remember seeing a journal. Well, I kept it as a normal lines. book and quill so that it wouldn't stand out, but it does have all my spy master I, stuff in it, side of it. I will make sure I grab that as well. Um, and double check to make sure it's still there for sure. So I think besides that and the mermaid necklace, I don't think there's anything too valuable left in there. But thank you for pointing out the book because I didn't want to just read through them. Especially if any of them was a more personal journal to begin with. And that's not exactly my business for it. No, I keep my personal stuff at home. Do you want me to fetch you a spare change of clothes from your house? It's fine. Okay. Um. And you have my promise that if the seraphs try to change the terms regarding you staying here, that and they want to move you or make anything worse, I will step in. It really is as simple as me tossing you my warp zone at this very moment, and we can just take you to the nether and hide you there if necessary. But if we can avoid war, I'm going to try to avoid war for now, especially with how many children we have in our realm. Yeah, don't go to war for 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 me. You are worthy of going to war for you're the high lady's fiance that is more than enough justification i'm just a little too scared to 
despite being the one that pushed for war the most in previous war meetings. Karma, can I speak to you informally? Mm -hmm. Of course. Do you actually think Morgan's going to come back? I do. I... As if you were always looking for Morgan, and it was it, everything going down, it never really had the opportunity to tell you, but I, at the very least, I don't think death wishes physical harm on the Netherian royalty, because... I... the reason I'm alive is due to death at this moment. What? And there's a lot more... there's a lot more to it, but... Death did save my life, and never gave me the impression of wanting to harm any of us in the Nether Kingdom. So I don't believe that she would harm Morgan, although kidnapping, I think, still constitutes as a form of harm. I thought I heard footsteps. I thought so, too. Hmm. Should we continue this conversation in a group? Never mind. Yes, we should. <laughs> I probably did, should have done a group to begin with, but I really didn't think someone was going to lurk atop the prison cells. Um, but when you are released, I can definitely show you the journals that I have regarding death. But you have my word that to the extent of my knowledge that Morgan won't be killed by death. I do think she will come back. I don't know when or how or in what form, but I don't think death is going to kill her. And that's why I am refusing to ascend the throne or to give out her belongings. It's because I rather hold out that faith and trust the judgment that I had for myself that she will return. And I'm sorry I couldn't relieve your worries sooner. It's just been one thing after the another constantly. And when we did see each other, it wasn't exactly in the best setting to do it. Namely, the ball. If there's nothing you want me to grab for you, or nothing more you want to say to me, I think I may take my leave. Well, I am mildly concerned about those footsteps. Um, I might lurk around the Elven Kingdom at the very least, but I can stay if you want me to stay until we know they're gone. I'm sorry if my mistakes involved you It's in any way. I don't fault you for it. You were doing your job. I still made mistakes. And, and I'm sorry. And that happens. I've definitely made mistakes with my decision making or just bad circumstances. And it sucks. It really does. And I wish this whole situation was avoided. I do. But I don't fault you for it. I don't view you worse 
because of it. It just, it happens, and how things play out is how they play out. And if it rel relieves your worries at all, I am trying or have tried to convince Annabelle that Mel, not Melody, that Kaya doesn't deserve execution since she was operating under Annabelle's orders. So hopefully that can lift a weight off your shoulders. It does a little. I can't exactly promise anything, but I am trying to lay out the specifics to Annabelle regarding the fact that the only reason, because I think the thing that spooked her the most was the fact the poison materials that harmed her greatly came from Kaya to Amara, but I told her that you instructed Kaya to play double agent. And I think that kind of helps a lot in Kaya's case. Yes, I... So if we do yeah. manage to push it to trial or something of the sort, I do have a lot of faith in Kaya. So I have hopes up for that situation, but it really is, we'll have to see how things unfold entirely. Especially since, as she's on the run, rightfully so, the Seraphs are going to get to intervene to an extent with their judgment as well. But I don't think really anybody truly wants to see Kaya dead. She has a lot of friends, and she's been nice, even if I don't like her actions. I think I'm safe to warp stone out because I haven't heard them recently. I just know it's gonna make noise when I do. But if you need anything at all, if you're able to send me a missive, send me a missive. Um, whether it be food, clothes, or I guess preferably not jailbreaking materials at the moment. Um, but if it comes down to it, I guess jailbreaking materials. I actually don't know if I can actually break out of this prison cell either, so. I wouldn't want to bring a rift between you and Annabelle because you broke me out um, of jail. Yes, that's also, you know, I, I really, I just mended things with her, so I don't want to cause another one. Um, but thank you. But if it's to help you, I think she would understand. Um, there's more news and why I think Anvil wouldn't exactly be the most angry if I were to break you out um, but I think that's better from her perspective because she's the one I've just heard second hand and I don't think I should say her second hand info oh but when you have a chance to talk to her um, I always recommend that she fills you in and if she doesn't I will tell her to fill you in Okay. But I'm going to take my leave and I'm going to go get that stuff, um, the journal and everything from your belongings before you. anyone else could have the chance to.
can't help think about what Lena told me five years ago about how I should stick around to protect the people I love. But the longer I'm around, the more I feel like I'm just doing more harm than good. <sighs> Kai is a fugitive. More is gone and we don't know when she will be back. I basically betrayed the only family I have left. Almost got my best friend killed. She could still be killed. And breaking out of this place would just it would just put too many people I care about in danger I maybe it's better I just stay here even though I could easily just hide in the cell, go invisible, someone opens the door, realizes I'm gone, and I can just go out the door once they open it. If they open the door, they could do what Karma just did and just pop in. But maybe it's best for me to stay in here. I definitely don't want the children to see me like this. I don't want them to have memories of me like that. I'd rather their last memories of me be running around the playground in the school. Maybe everybody's safer if I'm just gone. Somebody has it, my journal. <sighs> Shoot. Ah. Uh. I don't think I said anything, but I think it's obvious that it's never related because I said things about Lena in there.
I mean, in theory, if they wanted to break you out, they don't make it too difficult, to be honest. Kaya, what are you doing here? I came to check up on you. No, leave! I was serious. I... Nobody's here. Karma said she would stick around to see if anyone... Because we heard footsteps earlier while we... she was talking to me. So she might still be in the area. And well, if she figures out you're here... Then I, I can sit here invisible. You're not in the cell with me right now, are you? <laughs> no, I'm... I mean, I, I, I can't. Leave. What did you... I'm just curious. What, what did you tell Karma about? She just wanted to apologize for me ending up in here. She said she'll find a way to lessen your sentence. Fine. She does Yeah, she doesn't believe that you deserve to die. You have to lessen my sentence if they take off the kill on they don't, if they don't take off the kill on site. But... You shouldn't be here. Please, just, just go, go back to the end. Stay safe. Stay alive. Do you, um, do you realize the, uh, the chaos I've caused by being alive? What do you mean? Karma mentioned earlier that Annabelle needed to talk to me about something. What's going on? Like, what, what happened? Nothing's happened. Then why does Annabelle need to tell me something? I've got a pit in my stomach. I don't like the sound of it. I don't know. Annabelle doesn't tell me. She to talk to her. She told me on site. I'm sorry. This is my you fault be... that you're on the run. This is what I meant by the chaos I caught. No, it's it was. Not your fault. It is my fault. I should have told you to go away. I shouldn't have invited you to come with me to the Seraph Kingdom. That's not the only thing. What do you mean that's not the only thing? I mean, do you know why Annabelle put the kill on site in the first place? You remember. You yeah, I was there. Because you gave ingredients for a poison to Amara. Yeah, that's not your fault. That's not your fault either. It is my you, fault. You know exactly what that's like. It is my fault because I I told her to keep you need to leave. Leave now. <sighs> Fine. It is my fault. I told her to keep you around. I told- I should have just convinced her to banish you instead of... be a double agent.
could Annabelle possibly need to tell me? Karma would have definitely acted differently if they were planning to kill me, I don't think. I don't think it's that. betrayed her so badly. <sighs> I don't even deserve to be in the same presence as her. She's had a, li a life almost just as rough as mine. I basically told her I didn't love her. <sighs> Terrible human. I'm still in here, if you thought I wasn't. I'm not... I didn't come in here to check to see if you were gone. Karma did say that you had something to tell me. Yeah. And I'm gonna come in there for that, okay? Okay. That's nice. That's real nice. Um. Okay, um. This is gonna be really hard to say. What? So, <clears throat> I'm just going to explain the situation, because I don't know how other to say it other than to tell you bluntly. Um, so, a couple nights ago, Kano was awake teaching Hazel how to read and write, and then he had gotten word that Kaya had woken up and he went after her so that way he could bring her back here or I don't know what his plan was and he had telepassed to her and she was flying and she didn't know that he was going to do that. And he didn't know that she was telepathing. And she was in the air. Kane was dead. What? I, I don't know how else to say it. He's... He's gone. Um... <sighs> he... Um...
Melody. <laughs> Are you okay? Melody? 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 Please stop doing that. This is my fault. This is all no, my not. fault. No, it's no, it's not. 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 Please stop. He's dead because of me. No, he's not. I. Everyone dies because of me. Melody, he knew what he was doing. He was taking his own risks. I. He doesn't regret it. <laughs> he... Listen, okay? Can you look at me? <laughs> After that had happened, Ira made me aware. And we went to go write books for people so that they know what happened. And we went to the nether to write a book for Fang. And when we went there, when we went there, we were in Fang's room, and apparently Kano could speak with us when we were in the nether. I don't know why, I don't know how, it's because, but it happened. It's because the dead are connected to the nether, and we couldn't do that before because they were all in the end. Nora told me herself. She's not here either. I... Okay, okay. You... Please stop. Please stop doing that. I... Okay. He... When we asked him... When we were speaking with him... <laughs> We asked him if he... I'm sorry. Um... We asked him if he had any thing that he wanted to say to anybody. And he wanted me to tell you this. He said, tell Ned Melody she's stupid for choosing Kaya as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to he's going to miss you dearly. And thought that you two would have more time to get to know each other. <laughs> but you didn't because you two made very different choices. And that you're on your own path now. But he also is the one who had put you on that path. And he did it for the kingdom. And he doesn't regret... And he doesn't regret that choice, but he regrets making that path for you. He wishes he had more time to make up with you. That's what he told us to tell you. Let me know if you need a minute <laughs> or anything. <sighs> I hate that my last moments with him alive. Is betraying the Elven Kingdom. I hate that so much. <sighs> I know. <sighs> I 
I... <laughs> I feel... I really wish you would've gotten the chance to talk to him. <laughs> because he... <sighs> he... Re I know he said he doesn't regret the things that he that he's done for the kingdom, but I know he regrets putting you in this situation. And if he could tell you that himself, I'm sure he would. It's all your fault. It's all your, your fault. You weren't supposed to be alive. Every minute that you're alive, someone else dies. It's all your fault. It's all my fault. All your fault. It's all my fault. Melody. If I hadn't told you to keep Kai alive, if I hadn't, if I hadn't told Kai to come with me to the Seraph Kingdom, die, die. none Melody. of this would be happening. <laughs> None of Melody. this would have happened. Kato would still be alive. <laughs> Kaya wouldn't be on the run. Melody, if I hadn't ordered the execution, then he would. If he wouldn't have had to have gone after her, he wouldn't have felt that obligation. Just This is my fault. And I regret making that decision now. But I can't take it back. Because if I take it back, then we could lose everything. Please stop. Please stop. Melody. Okay, why why do you keep going invisible over again? I will be happier without you here. It's your time to die now. Melody. Die. Die. Please stop. <laughs> Please it's don't all your try fault. to run your hunger out. It's all your fault. There's more I need to tell you. There's more. Unfortunately, yes. There's more. And I need to tell you. We need to go into your group. Okay. I would recommend sitting down at some point. Melody. I regret. I, I regret ordering the execution because it's led to all this but in some way it's also protected us in some weird way 
because I can't resend it now. If I do, then Marina said. If I do that, then I am afraid that Marina will attack. Why would Marina attack? Attack who? She doesn't the Elven Kingdom? Elven. Yes. She doesn't like the decisions I have been making. And she admitted, and I confronted her on this, and she admitted it herself. What? She doesn't like the fact that I was so lenient on Kaya, and she believes that Kaya should have been dead five years ago. She thinks I do not make the correct decisions for this kingdom. And the only reason. The only reason I know about this is because of Kano. She had tried... <coughs> she had tried to get him on her side. I can only imagine that conversation went, yeah, okay, and he blew her off. Because she said that he said he would do whatever he needed to do in order to protect the kingdom. But the night that he died, when he told me... He said he would never do that. That he would never betray the kingdom. That he would never betray either of us. I believe you. I don't think Kai Kano for a second. He's always thought of the Elven Kingdom. Even over me when I was princess. It was always the kingdom first for him. And there's no way that he would have agreed to it. I wouldn't believe it for a second. Neither do I. He... That conversation with Marina, she... I had Night Pink with me. Um, just because of the simple fact that he had told me that she was... gonna go on a rampage when she found out about his death. But, um... He... Um, she threatened... She threatened my life. She said verbatim, If I wanted to invade the kingdom, I would've. And if I wanted to kill you, I could do so easily. And that's a promise. So I am... No longer on good terms with her. And if she wants to, if she wants to invade this kingdom, she can rip the kingdom from my cold, dead, bare hands at this point. I am not going. I am not going to bow down to anyone like that. Just because she doesn't like how I do things in my kingdom. I've done everything I could. I've kept the people informed. I've warned people. Maybe we haven't shared everything with them. And maybe we should have told them about Amar or Thalia five years ago. But I... <sighs> but I can't undo that now. All I can do is move forward. But I've done my best. I'm sorry, Anna. 
I'm sorry for putting you in this position. I'm sorry for the things I said the night of the ball. It's okay. It's not we okay. Were, we were both acting out of anger. We were high on emotion. It was, it was a really, it was not a good situation for either of us. And I can, after some time, I can recognize that now, and I shouldn't have acted the way I did, and I shouldn't have done the things I did. And, um, even more so, Marina had, at some point I had kicked her out, because <laughs> I was over the conversation. But she revealed something to me that was only written in my journal. So that means she, she has, she had a spy, and they've been within our kingdom, and they've been in my room. They've been. With I don't know what. I don't know what they have or what information they took. But your spy master journal is missing. I know. It, I asked Karma to find it. She okay. told me that it wasn't there. We we don't know where to look for it. Um She She brought something up that I just Quite frankly, it pissed me off, and I'm not. I, I, I don't trust her. I can't trust her. So, um. Yeah. That's basically everything. To be fair, when I went into the negotiations with the Seraphs, I did... I was planning on just lying and saying that you did nothing, but they had already known because Max told them that it was both you and Kaya. I tried to get you off without any repercussions, but I couldn't. I never planned on denying it if I was caught. It seems funny to me, though, that they didn't even try a trial. A trial wasn't even brought up by them. <laughs> they wanted materials from the nether. Like, I have any sort of way of getting them that. Then they might already they wanted... know more than we thought they knew. Maybe. Maybe they did. But I don't know. They were really pushing hard for me to either give them back a warden egg or to give them wither skeleton skulls and soul sand. And knowing karma, she's not gonna give that at them. Give that to them. So they'd be basically asking for a destructive weapon. Yeah. I offered potions. And the end. I gave them the dragon egg. It's okay. To be fair, the dragon egg is kind of useless, right? I don't think they knew that. It's symbolic, but... It is symbolic, but I had no other choice. It's fine. It was either that or you were gonna be put in mermaid, and I'm not gonna let you go to mermaid jail. Not with everything that has happened. Do you think if I went to mermaid jail that Marina would back off the Elven Kingdom? I highly doubt that, because her main issue is Kaya. 
Why does she have an issue with Kaya? She feels as if Kaya should not be alive with the things that she did five years ago that resulted in Anthony's death. Oh. If I was there and I could choose he wouldn't have died. That's what I think anyway. We don't know that for sure. I know. <sighs> but yeah, no. That's the situation, and that's where we stand as of right now. I... I just... I wish he didn't... I wish he didn't make that stupid decision. I don't know what to do to get us out of this situation, Melody. I don't know either. I'm sorry. <gasps> what? What? Excuse you? At this point, fuck it. No. At this point, let's go. No. Melody. I don't know if we can- <laughs> What? It's all your fault. 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 Melody, it's not. Melody, you know what to break it. I know how to break it. I know how to break it. Melody, please stop. Melody, please stop. Melody, please eat something. Please eat something. Melody, 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 please eat something. I gave her a gold apple, and I gave her a gold apple, and I gave her a gold apple, Melody, I'm here. More. 
This this is a dream. No, and I need you to eat. Me. Am I dead? No. <laughs> you will be if you don't eat, so please. Is it really you? This isn't just... This isn't just a hallucination. <sighs> no. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you were a little dazed. Since you haven't been eating. You look so different. You're back. You're really, really back. Couldn't let my girl starve to death. <laughs> They're gone. Kino. Kaya. I know. <laughs> I have to. I'll leave the door open if you want me to. It's up to you. I think the only thing that I'm looking for in regards to knowledge is... Is her sentence over? She has five more weeks. Um... She had broken Seraph off. Espionage, spying, thievery, and visitation laws. She, um. Florian. Huh? Huh? I'll go deal with that. Uh. I'll leave the doors open. Or is that me? Are you alright? I... I feel so weak. I still can't... I still can't decide if you're real or not. I'm... <laughs> I am real. Don't pinch me, though. Where have you been? You were taken by death. I didn't know if you were going to come back. You let the... Oh, Wait. Morgan? Morgan? Oh. Tell you everything, but I didn't think that I was coming back either. I'm kind of here on my own volition. Not that I'm allowed to be. Hello. That's a that that's a good first greeting. Um. Hi. Are you okay? I am okay. As I'll ever be. <laughs> In one piece, that is. 
Ow. You're a jerk. You're supposed to tell me when you leave. We established last time you tell me before you leave. <laughs> I didn't have a choice in this leaving. I'm sorry. There's... I'm so... I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too. You have made a fine princess. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. I haven't though. I got... I couldn't guard Melody and she got arrested and I couldn't protect her and... I really haven't. Melody's imprisonment is not your fault. I, I could have stopped it and I didn't. You couldn't have stopped it. How, how are you back? Did, did they let you go? In a sense. <laughs> I couldn't do anything to save you. <coughs> I am safe. Y and you protected the people that I care about the most, which is all I've ever asked of you. I'm sorry I left. I... unfortunately didn't have a choice. But I'm here now. And I'm willing to help in any way that I can. I will come home. I missed you a lot. <laughs> I missed you too. I missed you all. Are you the one who constructed an illegal portal? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time here. It's a lot to fill you in on. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to overwhelm you. <laughs> I know some. I... I had the chance to speak with... Kano. He departed me the knowledge that he had that was... of you in... prisoned and... the causes of it what led to it, and the things that the Seraphs were wanting. Unfortunately, I have very little knowledge about anything other than that. I, I took a, I kept a journal that I can pass to you. It's at my lab right now, and you can read it on your own time. And then, to get more detailed explanations on things, you can ask. I just... I didn't want to write a full novel and give you a lot of paperwork for when you came back. So I just... I appreciate it. Took a, kept a short list, although looking back on it now, I think some things are not as important as other things that I noted down. <laughs> it's alright. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you need anything? Like, do you, do you have totems on you? Do you have good gear? Are you okay? I'm okay. I have my things. Okay. Well, most of my things. <laughs> I tried to make sure no one took your belongings. I said I, they found your will, and I said don't. Don't give her stuff away. I don't need to give her stuff away. And so most of your stuff is where you left it. 
I think the only thing that I require is my sight. I assume would still be with your stalker boxes. Well, I'm pretty sure Fang has it. I have my stuff. So, yes, Fang would have my sight. <sighs> well, do you need a weapon in the meantime? No. I have I have silk sword. Um, I'm happy, I'm beyond happy to have you back, uh, but Florian saw something regarding Kaya, and I gotta, I have to check on Florian. No worries. I would like to have a discussion with Annabelle at some point. I, I can let her know, and maybe I trade places with her and she can come visit. You did everything you could, Lorio. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am here, and... Don't plan on going anywhere. Please don't. <laughs> If it's of my choice, then I plan to stay. Um... I would love to have more time with Melody, if yes. that's possible. I don't talk to Max. Okay. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad to be back. Do you want this kept a secret for now? <laughs> um, for the moment, just so I don't get bombarded with questions and people. Okay, so I won't tell Max it. <laughs> I mean, as long as Max doesn't go and announce it to the world. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> If you're having a private conversation, I don't think that he mm -hmm. wouldn't be privy to know. Okay. Excuse me. I guess I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you. what I was saying, I unfortunately am not here because I was allowed to be here. That doesn't mean you're going back, are you? As I said to Lucario, of my own volition, no. I think she understands that. Why? Why did... Why does... Why does... Why did death do that? <sighs> From my understanding of it, it has something to do with the fact that I was able to... wield... Cyrax. An ancient artifact and I was able to use it 
semi properly. I think that your face. Interested her. And uh, her answers to her questions on why didn't come lightly. What did she do to you? We don't need to talk. I'm here, and we can... We can figure this out. I'm going to talk to Annabelle about this sentence and the state of our kingdoms as of current. It's all my fault. Not my fault. I trust him. I trusted someone I shouldn't have. <laughs> you know already, don't you? Kano probably told you. I want you to tell me. I took Kaya with me to the Seraph Kingdom when I was looking for information. And Kaya told Max, and Max told Annabelle, and I'm sure from there it just everyone found out. Eventually, Rain found out. They always do. Why did you take them with you? I wasn't thinking. Kaya and I would always go on adventures together. And it just felt like one of those. And I didn't think about the repercussions. I didn't think about... I didn't think... I didn't imagine she would tell Max after I asked her not to. I didn't think she would betray my trust. <sighs> and now she's gone. <laughs> I should have stayed away from her like you said. Then maybe she would have been alive. We don't know when death will come. Especially for those of us who live long lives. Does death themselves know when they come? to greet her? Or do you mean, do they know, does she know when their line ends? Does she know when the line ends? I think from what I gather, she has a say, but rarely intervenes. He mainly watches. And I watched you. Just in case. I 
never wanted to have to walk you. I love you so much, Melody. <laughs> None of this is your fault. It was never your fault. <laughs> Please. I know it's easier said than done. But I need you to believe. If anything, let me be a catalyst for that. I'm here and I came back. I didn't die. And I'm still here and we can get married and... And whatever you want to do. I want to stay with you forever. I don't want to be an elf anymore. But you won't be able to swim ever again. I'll just swim in the lava. <laughs> just a different kind of swimming. <laughs> I didn't always have a mermaid tail. In fact, the one I'm holding right now is illegal contraband, so I might as well get rid of that. <laughs> I will not force you. Your choices have always been your choices. Even if I have not liked them. Do you not like this choice if I were to become a Netherian? I'd love to share the throne with you. I don't even I care about the throne, I just want to be with you. Well, I, by adjacent, unfortunately, I have to sit upon I, I know, I'm just letting you know that's not my goal. <laughs> I know, I know. I want to spend my life with you, too. But I don't want you to have to give up anything to do so. I've already asked a lot of you by asking you to even stay in the nether in the first place. It's so dangerous for you there. If I take the orb, then it won't be. I would love for you being Ethereum. Hell, look damn good. What? <laughs> what dress is this? I made it for a masked elven ball. You made this? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, is it hot in here? And this is you. <laughs> Oh god, I can't even imagine my wife being even hotter now. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I've missed you. I love you and I miss you too. Shall we go... eventually talk to Annabelle or at least check in on them? I think that's a good let idea. Let me tell you, you are not staying in this jail cell a second longer. Oh, never mind. Your timing is uncanny. Oh, 
<clears throat> we were just about to come and find you. Yeah. Um. Need anything? I do, actually. Mm -hmm. Um. I understand that you are dealing with grievances, but I require the relinquish of Melody. If she needs serve time, she can serve it in the nether. Her, um, what I'm looking for, um, things you get charged with, her crimes. I she... think we both understand where the true responsibility lies. Yeah, I, d I do understand that. The Seraphs don't, though. And... If I move her... They... Will more than likely join Marina in her rampage. <clears throat> as I made a deal with them. Rampage? <laughs> She's threatened the Elven Kingdom. Under what bounds? She believes Kai should have been dead five years ago for... And Kai is the reason why I couldn't pick anybody for the sacrifices. And she doesn't like the decisions that I have been making with my kingdom. She says my people are uninformed, which is untrue, as I have been informing my people. I leave letters, I leave messages, I leave books, I do everything I can. She doesn't like the decisions I've been making, so therefore she wants war. Marina is a child. I'm aware of this. She threatened my life. I'm no longer on good terms with her. Well then, unfortunately, she broke our neutrality pact. She did. She broke her ours eyes. as well. She broke ours as well by threatening my life. Hmm. I would very much love a way to figure out how to kill an immortal right now. Isn't the only way to kill an immortal is with an immortal? <clears throat> I'm unsure. If I need hmm. to go there, I can make a deal with my mother. She's immortal, apparently. Interesting. And but what would your mother want? Probably the kingdom. Probably all the Aelin's heads rolling. Which I'm not willing to give her. We can give her the physical kingdom if that's what she's after, but I'm... I'm I don't I'm want... sure there's a bigger one a couple days travel from here? There is. But that one wasn't so nice to me. I had no kindness there. What so if I it wasn't you? Who else would be on the throne of the Elven Kingdom if Melody doesn't want it? Well, the Netherians and the Elves have had a long-standing alliance. As far as I can remember, we have always been civil with each other, even our parents, even before so. I'm pretty sure my great-grandfather was the one who gave the Elves and, um, maybe great-grandfather, but great-great-grandfather was the one who commissioned all the armor for the end expedition. Mm -hmm. The nether cannot exist without the overworld. The overworld cannot exist without the nether. What say you and I become one? I can rule. And then Dahlia would have no reason to come after you. But wouldn't that put your life at risk? Like, up against an immortal? 
She can't take the Elven Kingdom if there is no Elven Kingdom. If we become a new one. If we... Don't How are you so get the Nether and Elvens mm -hmm. on one side and we rule under one crown. <clears throat> but you are in the Nether the most of the time who will be ruling the overworld part. We have to have someone in place in both places. We can't just have one for two we different dimensions. We can have a council. You could be on the council as the head of the elves, but you would not be princess or queen. The elves would come to you and you would come to me. So I'd be basically acting as an advisor at that point. Do you want to be princess anymore? I've realized a lot of things. <laughs> Originally, I didn't want this. I didn't want any of this. I know. But so many people believe in me, I feel as if I would be doing them a disservice. If I didn't stay and protect what I've built. Nothing would change on that part. I'm willing to try it if you are. I'm... <clears throat> Think about I'm... It. I'm willing to bend the knee, so to speak. But I don't want any of my lineage, my titles, I don't want... We can definitely I'm... move something out in regards to your daughter if that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Because Dahlia deserves... She deserves something. She doesn't deserve to have her future ripped away. She doesn't. And if Marina starts a war, it will be. Yeah. I can agree. I am willing to do whatever for this kingdom, so. If that means a merger, then... I'll do it. <clears throat> well, good to know about hypotheticals. Mm -hmm. Someone's above us. It's not I'm sure they're voices. Oh. I was not trying to eavesdrop. I had just delivered Lorian back to Port Sydney. Maybe oh, we no. should continue this conversation in a group, though. Sure. You want to make it? I don't know if she knows it. There's no password. Station. <clears throat> Something that 
doesn't really have to change. It's simply in my hypothesis and my thinking is that I just, if there was a pyramid or a stack, I just move one slot above you. Okay. I don't know how much you overheard, but we were discussing the potential I, I of a murder. I didn't overhear anything. Oh. I don't think that's a bad idea. I didn't suggest it to that extent, but I had already told Annabelle that, if anything, have Lucario capped in her nights, and if she needs advice, come to me or Fang. But... Everyone would be at your disposal. We would be one kingdom. We would create a new mm -hmm. kingdom. It would no longer be elves and Aetherians. It would be whatever we wish to call ourselves. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to, I know we both have alliances with Winter as well, so... That is something else that we could speak to Ira about. We would... Um... <clears throat> we would need to... I don't know how soon Ira decides to do this, but it would be Max who you would need to speak to. Oh. Ira plans on stepping down at some point. Do you know why? Spend more time with her daughter? Or Hazel? Mm. Well, Max is in good standing with both of us. All of us, even. I don't see why he wouldn't. I'm not sure if he would even want the title of prince. I'm not sure what Max wants. He seems more like a fighter mm -hmm. than a uh, head of court. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, even what? when he was elevated to heir status, he still remained Captain Max rather than adopting a royal title. I don't know. I hypothesize. He could surprise me. But three kingdoms strong turn to one. I think we have better odds should Marina want to attack. Yeah, we definitely would. And we can always give Seraphs the option. I highly doubt that. They'll go for it. I mean, I figured still extend the invitation out of good intent, whether we expect them to decline or not. And I think some of their people, upon hearing this proposition, may turn tides anyways. That is, if the person I'm thinking of is still around. I haven't heard from them in a while, but... Who knows? I... Know someone who might. Hmm. There's an... Elf... There's a Seraph... Who I've been helping... Recently. Their guard, his name is Holden. Hmm. Um... He had come to me asking for books on dreams and uh, dreams and the meanings of them for elves. Mm. I gave him a book and he's come to his own conclusion that he is half elf. I mean, even so, it may not guarantee he's going to disregard his loyalty. And his knight loyalty. He may not. Because of his lineage. He may not, but he certainly wants to learn more about elven life. Which is a good bargaining chip. Mm-hmm. And he still does owe me a favor. 
because I helped him. I don't know if I can use that favor to get him to turn tides, but... <laughs> We can ask his opinion, certainly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, if I had to speak on Dahlia, I don't see why she couldn't be entitled to the next in line. Mm -hmm. She is the oldest. Mm -hmm. And I... We haven't had the discussion of kids. Mm -hmm. I think we're both... I don't want to speak for you, but I think we're both <laughs> under the... Uh, we'll, we'll stick being the cool the cool ants. <laughs> if you, if you want Very to make more child care, we have plenty of children <laughs> to nope. on off to you. Nope. <laughs> but, seeing as that be it, if you were to step down as princess and go into more of a ladyship or an advisorship, Karma could also do the same. And then Dahlia would be my direct heir. Yeah. I you think it would come into play on how you want to cheat, because elves don't come to maturity or of age until they're a thousand. No, so they don't. It would be if you would pass the throne to her. Prior to her coming of age. To be fair, well, yeah. I was gonna say to be fair, elves stop aging at the age at the human age of eighteen. Well, we our aging process slows mm -hmm. at that age, so technically, she could be of age. We could. We Bring could just to be of age. Mm -hmm. We could just say that she is of age, and then she'll be of age, honestly. Our ages are confusing sometimes. <laughs> honestly, also under Nadirian law, typically the head falls to the advisor until someone is of age, or until they mm -hmm. vote in a new um, crown. So, that is also an option, but with this merger, we can create new laws if we wanted to. And also, Dahlia is very intelligent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that she would learn very quickly. She's been studying a lot over all the... So... Mm -hmm. I, uh... I definitely think I could take up an advisory ship. How much I'll, how much help I'll be in that position, we'll see. Cause we still have to learn. But I think it would be more of everyone mm -hmm. who was of el elven descent would come to you, and you would come to me. Yeah. That's why I I I'm imagining that you're. Responsibilities and stations would not change. Okay. Just your title. Okay. If you want, we can merger and you can become queen. I am okay <laughs> with that. I am good. I'll stay a lady. I liked being a lady. It was fun. Um, I got that. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I don't I, I don't have an issue with losing the title of princess. I originally I never wanted it, but yeah. I'm okay with doing that, stepping down and becoming a lady than anything that happens here I report to you. I would be honored. 
I know it was my idea, but still. <laughs> For you to put your faith in me. I have no reason not to. So, if this is to be a thing, I think involving... I think involving Fang would be a good idea. So mm -hmm. he is aware of status changes as of temporary and going forward. Obviously, they would not be more so of... I'm assuming you don't want to be High Lady anymore? <laughs> Uh, now that I'm I think back. The, the throne belongs to you, and I've always felt that way. I feel like I never should have touched it yours. So, I do not want to be High Lady. You did an amazing, amazing job while sitting upon it. You have my loyalty. Um, give me one moment. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have My eyes are being weird mm. Uno momento Hi <laughs> <laughs> um. There we go. Apologies. Um. What was I saying? Oh, so with that being said, um, I would uh, assume the position of High Lady again, and those our statuses will not change until we come to a full agreement. Mm -hmm. However, I would, if, if Max, if Ira is stepping down and Max does become Prince, I would like to have a discussion with him regarding this, and so our planning can involve him, um, and all of any documentation, any negotiations, and anything like that can all be solidified under one document. I, I agree, cannot. because trying to do it between just Nether and Elven, and then Tyne and Winter may make them feel more wary about it, if they're not involved from the start. But I will say I do not think rushing it is for the best at this current point in time, given Max's closeness to Kaya. Mm -hmm. I can always send him a missive. I don't know if you want to have that conversation right now, but... I don't Would want he be to... able to make sound decisions if he's emotional at the moment? That would be my concern. I don't know. I could always go check on him. We can go visit and give our condolences. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't said it yet, but I'll say it now. I give my condolences to you as well. Both of you. Thank you. Of course. Well, if we wish to go speak with Max, I wouldn't mind if you were the one to send him a missive. Um, and I guess at least check who he's with, because I know Lucario was going to go with him, but I don't know if he is with a group of people. I don't know if Melody is allowed to come, but I would like her by my side, if possible. Well, at this point, at this point, I don't care. Fuck this, fuck this era. She can come. I... <laughs> I I'm glad so we done. see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking if they can. Sure. 
I would like a change of scenery, though, than this dreary jail cell. I second that. <laughs> we'll just go to the castle. Should we go to, yeah, castle so people sure. can't Do you need to lock legally. anything up? I don't have the keys. Yeah. Do you need to lock I the have... doors? I... You're gonna because if not, you're gonna get a message from a seraph being like, "Hey, the prisoner escaped." Look, they can't get in if they go that way. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Sorry, I was lagging behind. <laughs> oh. By the way, does anybody know what happened, to Kaya? Did they actually suffocate, or...? I was with Lucario and the Nether. Florian was just asking me questions. I don't... I don't know how to answer her or them. I wish I had answers. Do are do you have armor by the way? I have a golden apple, mine? a bowl, and the ring, and that's it. I have your gear. Does anyone have an ender chest? Yep. Uh, no. There you go. Uh, this is all your stuff, Melody. Or not all of it, but the stuff I took. Oh. Hang on, my food. Uh, I don't think. Mm, were these my potions? I don't remember. Oh, uh, they might be. I carry an abundant amount of potions. I did have oh, cardboard gosh. boxes with. We should probably destroy this thing. I probably steel. have a. I was gonna say I probably also have a flint steel on me. Actually, can you toss it down and? Uh... Hello. Hello. Hi. Max, you can come in. Yeah, sorry. Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Max. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. My condolences. Thank you. Um, what's going on? Is it more than the important thing? We wanted to give our condolences first and foremost. Appreciate that. Of course. Um. Would you be in the mind to speak business? Yeah. As a distraction, maybe. If not, do not hesitate to say no, and we can discuss something at a different time. It, it would be a welcome distraction. I have heard word from Annabelle that Ira may be stepping down. Is this true? She is. Um, I will be taking over to Winter Trail. I wanted to know your thoughts on that. Ira stepping down? And you uh, getting the throne? Well... Ira had mentioned previously to me that she was thinking about stepping down so she could spend more time with Hazel. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I was a little disappointed um, because, you know, I didn't see how she couldn't be 
uh, a princess and also a mother at the same time, but since then I have grown to be more okay with that and have been talking with her about plans of me stepping up and when it's going to happen. If you had to choose between Prince and Knight Captain, which would you prefer? Or even advisor? I mean, <clears throat> no matter what title I have, my end goal is going to be making sure that the Winter Kingdom is safe. I think I have a better ability at doing that as someone in a higher position, such as Prince or Advisor, um, compared to Night Captain, where I don't have too much of a say of what happens when the kingdom. Ira does take my opinion on things, but mm -hmm. there's ways that I would go about things differently. Well, nothing is set in stone as of right now, but I had the proposition due to unsettling conversations and recent events that maybe we should rule under one crown okay. and the elves and the nether have always been one in each other they have been unspoken and spoken allies for centuries you cannot have one without the other, and we were having brief discussions of a merger. I would love to include you in on that. You have been, <laughs> dare I say, you, the elf, or the winter, um, were one of the first kingdoms for me to trust after everything that happened. I want to know if you'd want in on this. If I'm being completely honest, it does sound like a benefit official idea, considering I would not want to go to war with the Netherians, especially, considering, you know, you guys could easily beat us, if I'm being completely honest. Um, fire and ice don't really blend well together. <laughs> um, but I cannot give a proper opinion unless I, up until I've talked to the Winter Advisor. I've seen far too many princesses keep their advisors not in the know of things, and that causes far too many issues, and that is not something I want to do. Mm -hmm. Of course. This is... Fang is not aware, and he will be made aware, but mm -hmm. this is simply discussions, and obviously nothing could really happen until you are to be coronated. I... I would want to give you the opportunity to become one kingdom with us. And if we can save the hassle of doing paperwork multiple times, that would be amazing. <laughs> Discussions can be had about needs that need to be met, requirements that you have for the winters. Um, but I also theorize or can at least proposition right off the bat is any head of previous kingdoms that wish to merge would join a council under me and they would speak for and to their people nothing would change status wise it would simply be a title we'd make decisions together but it would be under one crown
I presume you haven't talked to any other princesses just yet? Well, um... you know my relationship <laughs> with Rain, and um, this hypothesis came upon me in the mission of Marina. Mm. What are your thoughts, by the way? Um... <laughs> you said you did not want to go to war with us. I wouldn't be opposed to fighting against the mermaids, but I would quite like until my uh, fiancé is no longer part of their kingdom. Um, right. But my opinion on Marina is not a positive one, and it has not been for quite a while. Especially considering she threatened uh, Princess Annabelle. It has since lessened. Alright. I just know you have... Well, Ira has an alliance with them that's... That strings deeper than just... Loyalty. Mm -hmm. Ira has agreed that if there is a war that were to happen while she was still on the throne, we would side with the elves. And subsequently, the nether. Um, Interesting. Yes, I don't think she's too happy with Marina at the moment, so... Mm. I will be giving this offer to the Seraphs. However, I think we should flesh things out a little bit more and have more of a cohesive uh, proposition to give to them. I don't imagine them saying yes, but I'd rather not go to them with a hypothetical because I feel like it would ruin our chances. Yeah. If I'm going to be completely honest, from my, from my negotiations with the Seraphs, if Kano were not with me, I would have blundered enormously, but also Rain seems like they are a bit of a pushover. So... Well, she did agree to six weeks imprisonment for the two, despite them invading her castle and robbing I, them, so. I just don't know if she'd be a pushover with me based on that spectacle she made. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure. I'm just saying. I don't think she wants a war, but then again. I think her and Marina are quite close, so... Considering when... Rain is dating Aiden, I do not think that there will be a um, hmm. easy solution if Morgan were to go to them with the proposition. Yes, and... and... They're, they're quite close. Sorry. Yeah, no, you're okay. Um, I was also going to say... Oh! Crap, the... The Halloween event that you threw at Winter. They're engaged now. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. And the whole night, Rain was calling Audrey her daughter for the night, if that's any implication of how close she is with Marina. Well, that's the thing, is that this offer... I would extend it to Marina, but probably last. I don't want to extend it to Marina at all. I don't... I would hate for it to be a... a, a dog pile, per se. If all the kingdoms are to rule under one crown, all kingdoms should get the opportunity to say yes or no. And if she says no and retaliates, then... We're just protecting our own. Yep. 
There's no war that we started with asking. <laughs> well, like I said, nothing set in stone. This is all a hypothesis of strengthening everyone against what may or may not be empty threats. I'm not quite sure. But I appreciate you taking the time to hear them out, even if they are loose ideas. Well, today hasn't exactly been a normal day, so might as well try everything out. But I appreciate you for letting me know. Of course. Um, again, even if they are loose ideas. Um, when there is a more solidified plan of sorts, um, I will bring it up to Bryn. Um, I just do not think today is the day to bring up that type of stuff in the Winter Kingdom. I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. I was hesitant to bring it up to you now, but I didn't want to come to you secondhand with the idea. Anything is a welcome distraction. <laughs> um. Hmm. So Nimbus wants to speak with a prisoner, as he referred to Melody as. All right. Um. I don't want to ask you to go back in the cell. But this if I have to What do I, I do? What do I I don't wanna ask you to go back go back in, but I mean if we wanna keep the illusion for today and it's just a chat, I don't mind staying close by. Yeah. While okay. they chat. And then afterwards you come to back to the nether. They can't access the prison cells without Annabelle being there anyway, so it's not like they would know she's not there. Yeah. So let me... Do you have a telepass for me? Me? Yeah. Um... Did you get your things back? I don't... I did, but I didn't get it... Someone must have taken it, or it's got mixed up with everything. Oh, okay. I put all of your telepasses in that box. I, I gained a couple. I don't think I've ever had... Well, maybe I did have that. I don't remember. Um, I... I was just gonna say, I, I can just go into the prison, you can telepass into the cell, but then... So we don't have to risk you walking through and someone seeing you, but at this point... I'm, I'm an elf, I can go walk. invisible. Well, that that's true. She has, that my, she has mine. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna ask We're you doing to go invis in. strat? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Um, well... I do need food, though. Behind you. Thank you. Um. Uh, this... Let's do that. All right, I was gonna say that <laughs> I wish you luck. Yeah, I, as much as I'd love to help trick Nimbus, <laughs> Winter does oh. have an alliance with the Seraphs, and I don't fancy risking any alliance, but I didn't see anything. No, you did um, not. Um, see no evil, speak no evil. Um, <laughs> That's why I like you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> be careful, Melody. Um, Sorry again for cut. I realized we started talking about that plan as you were standing there, and I was like, um, <laughs> well. Let's just hope he keeps that to himself. Mm hmm. But they're gonna find out eventually, anyways, so honestly, it doesn't really matter. As long as they don't find out right at this very moment in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are 
Are you staying while they she gets talked to? Um. I definitely can. I also can. Yeah, I, um... I won't lock it. I'm just gonna close it, just to keep up the appearance. Um... But yeah, I, um... I did want to speak with Ira. We were gonna go through Kano stuff together see what we okay. could give away or what we would want to keep out of it. Alright, well, I can I can stay. Okay, yeah. I'll meet Nimbus at the Waystone and then I'll bring him over here. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually sure where I should be going. Do I just go back to the nether? I would go to our child because I think they're a little freaked out right now. They didn't want to be around me anymore. They wanted to be alone at Port Sydney. Mm, um, maybe offer company or a chat if they're they've been um, alone. So maybe they want company now. Yeah. Maybe. But okay. Um. A little party trick okay. I learned to keep myself I'm entertained. Here. Okay. Um, don't freak out. <laughs> Why? I'm here. Okay.
for the time to speak with the prisoner. I understand that uh, we haven't really done that at all during the past week or so, but I was well, hoping to at least. Yes, I understand that, but you don't have to call her a prisoner. Oh, okay. My apologies. Uh, she is we'll my go sister. Later. Okay. She's down there. Okay. She's in her cell. You're okay. more than welcome to speak with her. Okay. Um. Yeah. How about it? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Highness. Yep. Is it okay if I enter? Yes. Thank you. How are you doing? Are you alright? It's fine as I can be doing. You saw it. Did you? So what? Kaya? I did. I'm very sorry. I am too. I understand both of you were very close with each other in the early days your highness and while missing her greatly yes so the reason I w wanted to come in here to talk to you especially I've seen, I've heard all of what's happened. Thinking to my my ruler's home. Thinking around the the kingdom itself, my office, and my home. My question is why? Why would you do all this? I can't give you an answer. Uh, at least give me something because Kaya is no longer here. Someone. That was someone a mistake. It was a mistake. Max to told me. That, Max told me that Kaya went willingly with you. That I do not believe that that good of a person would end up doing something like this unless they had a really good reason. If there's anything that we can know right now that could help us, not just, not just the, not helping just the elves and the Darians or whoever, not even us. If there's something out there, some information out there that can help us right now, that could benefit all of us, we're going to need it. Because Kai is gone. Those answers are long going to be are long now buried, and we're not gonna get an answer out if they were hiding something in the first place. And your highness, you were, you you two were close. If there was anything that could benefit and help all of us right now, it's worth saying. Help you with what? It sounds like you know something that more than and you just want me to admit it. Well, all I then help me. Tell me what I don't know. All I know is that you snuck into my home. Kaya willingly went and the thing that I'm getting at right now is that when you both were arrested 
even before that, Kaya was already a dead elf walking. So how do you even live with yourself knowing that you that you inadvertently put your best friend down under? I don't think you knew Kaya as well as you think you did. It was a mistake for me to include her. But she did offer to help me. And I didn't stop her. Then why did she do it? Did she tell you? She didn't tell me why she... Why she wanted to help me. Or if she had anything to gain from it. Look. I remember that night. When... What's her name? Amara, Thalia, whatever her name is, said that, well, she and Kaya were working together and they poisoned Her Highness Annabelle. And at that time, when the news broke out, then your sister ordered an immediate execution on Kaya. And then Kaya went AWOL, right? Mm -hmm. So, there must be something that she was hiding. Unless she had a really good reason. So help me try and understand. You said it yourself. That I did not know Kaya as well as I did. So help me. What don't I know? How does this benefit the Sarah Kingdom if I tell you what I know? How do you think this will only benefit the Sarah Kingdom? It isn't anything to do. It isn't anything to do with just one kingdom. Amara became a pr problem for all of us as soon as news broke out across every single kingdom. It's no longer just one kingdom's problem, it's all kingdom's problem. Do you know how Kaya and Amara are related? How so? Do you know? Not at all. That's why I'm asking. Kaya wasn't originally positioned to be a knight. She was originally positioned to be an assassin, to kill me by Amara. I never got a chance to talk to her about it. But she never so did you knew kill about me. All this? I didn't know. I didn't know until the night of the sacrifices. Sacrifices. So when they sacrificed this was going the five people to the Lord Keeper. Yeah. Mm hmm So this happened so this was all before the kingdoms even started when you obviously came into the throne this obviously this obviously started be well before then am i wrong you're not wrong it was right. i don't know if it was kaya directly or if it was someone else but Amara is responsible for the death of my sister. 
and that you are right. So this, so that's why I'm here to at least tell you what went on. So what I knew, what I know, is that five years ago when the sacrifices happened, Kaya kidnapped Annabelle in order for Amara to meet. Right, because they're uh, because it's a mother daughter relationship. Right. Yes. And so what I heard was that, well, I didn't know before, but it took me uh, it took me five year it took me myself and also the entire Seraph Kingdom, including Her Highness Reign, five years to know that. After what all was said and done, there was apparently a princess meeting to inform about what happened after the sacrifices, and somehow Rain was not invited because it was coming from you. I wasn't supposed to tell anyone, and. The less people that knew, the better. Well, if it was a meeting of the rulers themselves, were we not important enough to at least be informed about the potential dangers? It, that wasn't my call. It was more. They just wanted to know what happened to Anthony. Marina wanted so why answers, wasn't... and Marina wanted yeah. Ira with her yeah so with all her highness uh, with all the rulers there why'd you make that decision to not allow rain to at least be informed at the very least we could have been slightly more prepared knowing that all this was going to happen i didn't know it was my responsibility to get everyone involved it was just to inform marina morgan was there for me it was just to inform okay. Marina why her husband died and she wanted Ira there with her. If I, if I could have redone it, I would have just been a conversation between me and Marina. It wasn't supposed to be... If it was a princess meeting, then that would have been up to Annabelle, not to me. But Annabelle wanted but to keep you... it in the Elven Kingdom... Because she didn't want widespread panic. Well, that definitely did happen after the ball, didn't it? So, what? You're all not to point fingers, per se, Your Highness. You all were basically delaying the inevitable. Did you compartmentalize that at the moment? Tell me why it would have benefited for Rain to know. At the very least, if they went about any other kingdom, we would have helped. I don't think right. Annabelle wanted anyone to help. It wasn't a cry for help. It was well, just to inform we... why Anthony was dead. And Rain has, hasn't had any connection to Anthony as far as I'm concerned. I don't know if she did, but... That is true. But I... if there was anything shared about Amara at that point, and we had no idea that this was going on for five years until the night when I arrested you and Kaya and saw some random woman in the throne room of the Elven Kingdom, not knowing who she was, and then started levitating in the air, your Highness, this, that right there, that day, that problem that was only between Amara and Annabelle became a problem for everybody in this world. Knowing that she can levitate, she's immortal, and all the other things above, what she's capable of, what she's capable of this is no longer a problem between just a mother and a daughter 
this is a problem for everybody now. Everyone in this world now has to deal with the consequences. We didn't know that so she was immortal. Any... Well, now we know that, don't we? Well, I can't exactly spread the word when I'm locked in a cell. Yeah, yeah, because uh, and but you didn't spread the news either when you were out of it, didn't you? I didn't think it. It, it just sounded like. A mother who wanted to reconnect with her daughter and was just doing it in a very bad way. It didn't seem like a global threat. That I can understand too. And I'm sorry to speak in this way, but the Seraphs and the Elves do not have an alliance. And for the last five years, I haven't even been really closely associated with the Elven Kingdom. Hmm. I've been living in the Nether. My job here isn't to make you relive the past and regret everything that you did in the past. What happens in the past stays in the past. Alright? I understand that, well, you're living in the nether now and, well, the Nadarians and the, the Seraphs don't have the best relationship, even though I do have quite a number of friends that I'm not allowed to visit most of the time, unless it's the Night Scale. I want to try and move on, okay? I really think that we can all move on and at the very least come to a conclusion with all the bad stuff that's been happening recently and all the, and all the interactions that have happened over the month or so, not just with Her Highness not just with Her Highness Morrigan going missing, but also what happened to Audrey. All of that tore my friends apart for moments. I don't wish to see any more of that happening. If we want to get to the bottom of any of this going forward, we need to be on the same page. So that's why I'm here. What do you want me to do about it? I'm just a prisoner in a cell. Tell me what you know. About Kaya, uh... Anything that Kaya was hiding. Anything that could... That you know about Amara. You, it sounds like you know everything already. Happened. Like I said, I'm... I, I haven't been associating myself that closely with the elves in comparison to the nether then why were you living in the nether i was living in the nether to you... be close to the one i love the one you love i didn't know you were unaware of morgan and i's relationship i mean i saw both of you on the first day when you were collecting all the invitations for the school but I didn't think that the relationship was official it is it has been for a while was it recent? the night before she was taken by death. She proposed to me. Congratulations. But also, very sorry that for a good month or so, she, she went missing. Well, wherever she is at the moment, I'm sure she'll find I'm sure she'll find her way back home. We got this. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what gave... Well, more so... 
another thing that I'd like to ask is, well, do you have anything against me? Because you definitely, mm, being speculative here, you definitely did seeming as though you went through all that trouble to find where I live. Myself and Umiko, putting both of us at risk. Why would I be putting you at risk? Why would you want to find my home in the first place? That I can't talk about. Understood. But I was never... I would never do it to harm someone. Well, what I got from Max was that both of you had ideas to frame me. That's not true. But it's my word against Max's, so that's all I can that's say about I, it. I was that's why I was advocating for a trial, and that didn't happen, and now Max is dead, so we can't... I mean, not Max is dead, sorry. Now Kaya is dead, now those secrets get buried with her. So, since both of you were together... You can't... Are you sure? You really can't tell me if you have a vendetta against me? Because I'll, I'll be honest, Your Highness, I'm far from having vendettas with people, okay? If people hate uh, people hate me, okay. If it's something that I can work on, then I'll listen. If you want to know so badly, I don't have anything personally against you. I may have in the past. But while okay. searching for information, I did not find anything to believe my suspicions were true. So I cleared your name in my mind. Fair enough. Well, I would say as well that Sanctuary belongs to everyone. Because, well, everyone deserves peace in life so once you're out if you ever need a quiet place to go to just let me know I'll bring the tea okay thank you I understand that it's been very hard for you, especially since the passing of two very close friends within a week. But I would like to assure you as well that if anything happens to anyone out there, we'll get through it. Okay, I don't wish when both of you were arrested, I didn't wish for any of you to get executed per se. I wanted a trial. I want I wanted answers. And now that Kaya is gone, I won't get answers to to her side of the story now. Those answers are buried. So at the very least, if you do have anything else that at the, at, at, that we should be aware of given that we're all in this situation just let me know all right i don't mean no harm i just want what's best for everybody here i care too much about everybody thank you I'll, I 
think I definitely overstayed my welcome, so I'll take my leave then. If there's anything that pops up, would you mind if if I just let you know beforehand if I if I wish to come down? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I shall take my leave then. Do take care of yourself, okay? Whatever has happened has happened. We can move past that. All right. All right. Thank you, Your Highness. Yep. All done. You. Uh, I don't have. I don't have the keys though, so. No? Okay. Yes, group? Yes? Okay, okay. Okay. Um... Shy, he's he doesn't still here. He's still here what? above. Uh, Close that door. It's like, he's like... <laughs> okay, um... So I know who was the spy. <laughs> you just figured that mm -hmm. out? No, they just told me themselves. What do you mean? Um, Ira just told me that they were the ones who snooped through Elven Castle. And they were the ones who read my diary. They were the ones who took your, uh, spell, your, your thing. Um, oh, that would be cool if they took the Amara report. Fuck! Why? Sorry. Fuck. That was my one bargaining chip shit. Which? It has the... It has... Let me just make sure this is the right one. It is. Fuck. It has the ingredients to break the twin curse in it. What? What? I had found that out a while ago. Die. Die. And I just didn't have the time to share it with you. And now she has that information. But I also know that Kaya rebuilt Die. it. Die. And so, if Ira didn't share that information, then I don't know what Ira shared with her. Um, shared with Ira shared with who? Marina. Oh, for fuck's sake. I know. She's... Wait, so you would not break the twin curse because of Marina? No, I'm saying that I was using that as a bargaining chip to get her to not attack, and now she knows how to do it without did Max lie or has Ira been lying because didn't Max say that Ira's not happy with Marina why would she do that because Marina had revealed to me that there was a spy and Ira was not happy with Marina because Marina had revealed to me 
rocks on his spine. Yeah. So. I, um... But I don't know why Ira is spying in the first place. That's what I'm confused about. Because if, <sighs> if she's spying for Marina and she's mad at Marina... She was spying for Marina because they wanted to figure out where Kaya went. If we had any, any information on that. We didn't fucking know where Kaya went. Um... So, apparently, but through the process of that, they went through my journal, they went through our vault, apparently, and they took shit, but they don't know how to assemble the twin curse. Kaya has that at her house. She rebuilt it. She literally rebuilt the, the ritual underneath her house, and I know where that is, but they do not. I was gonna so tell. they only have one piece of the puzzle. They only have one piece of the puzzle. They don't have it's the whole thing. Because there's a specific way it has to be laid out, and in a, at a specific time, it has to be while thunderstorming at midnight in order to perform the ritual. The only thing though is that. The fact it involves some sort of sacrifice. It has to be pure of heart, and if it works, then it will be a good So they don't die. They're being I just it's have a little bit of a headache. Um, I think I still have your telepass. Okay. I'm gonna go Thank speak you. with Max. Yeah, of course. Um, if do you want the copy of the report? Because I can definitely give it to you. Yeah, if you want to get me that. It doesn't have to be now. Oh, well, it's right there. Because there's a report made against my... Copy made against my will, but... That's all the information that Kaya had on um, Thalia and the Twin Curse and how to break it. And like I said, the ritual is at Kaya's house. But you have to go through water in order to get to it, so... I have the waystone to it if I get a warp stone. <sighs> um... Yeah, I'm sure Karma has we'll materials. Get... Yeah, we'll get you restacked. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna speak with Max now. I'm gonna warp to the portal and meet you. Oh, uh, apologies, Your Highness. I was oh. just finishing up one of the reports. I... Yeah, no worries. I just... Uh, I just leave, want to say leave, go. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Me? Yes, get out of here. Okay, okay. To sister. I know it was very hot, and I apologize for my initial comments, oh. but. Wait until I feel like you... it was good in order to... Does it make a sound when I leave? The situation is at hand. No. 
Yeah, of course. Only warp stones. Are you sure? I um I hope she told you some things. If not, I'm I'm, I'm not pretty sure, sure what to tell you, honestly. <laughs> well, there was. I just want to make sure he doesn't look in of, here. There I don't want to of, cause uh, panic right at this moment. Good answers. That I, got. I know. I'm safe where I am, so. She was willing to speak You're to good me, to come which was good, considering that, that I thought she had a personal here. vendetta against me, given how she invaded my home and had intentions of framing me. But she since then said it wasn't true when she snooped around all my stuff. But, well, I've, I've got quite a bit to fill up my uh, Her Highness reign on, so mm -hmm. at least there's that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I'll continue to write up plans for the the actual academy itself, any lessons in order to obtain the licenses, and I'll get them to you once they're done, and yeah, if anything else, if there's anything else that you need, uh, whether that's help with He's still uh, here. the funerals for oh both my God. Elves, Did she uh, leave? No. I just I just miss her and I said take him with you. <laughs> okay, I think they're out of range. Hello. Hello. I do need to talk to Lizzie, um, uh, Karma quickly, so I can I can meet you um, for some rest. Okay. Message her. You did great. <laughs> I was laughing. talking to Nimbus. Yes. I, I feel like laughing. I said too much. No. I didn't know what to tell him. I just knew that I. I shouldn't say. Oh yes, I'm the spy master for <laughs> another. <laughs> you basically said, "I spend more time in the Nether." You gave him that information. I did. And he didn't I... make the connection, which is. I him. regretted saying it when I did, but I no. I was He's... too caught up in defending myself to what he was saying. <laughs> he didn't make the connection. That's on him. And I think it's very funny, your your um, back talk of, well, I guess mm -hmm. you didn't know Kaya as well as you did, as well as you thought you did. I'm going to leave the group. Hello. Hello. I was just seeing Melody to rest as it's been a long day, and then we can have a quick chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Please be here up. when I wake up in the morning. I will be up, and you can hold my hand the entire time. Okay. For this episode of Princess SMP, my love is back. Yay! A possible merger happening? I don't know how I feel about that. The talk with Nimbus was terrifying. He's very, he's very good at talking like a knight. That's all I'll have to say on that. Glad I got the chance to talk to Nimbus, though, because I don't think we've ever had. That was probably the longest conversation the both of us have had. Let me know what you think in the comments below of all these events that are happening, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.